Oh, hey there YouTube. Um, this is part three of my video because we play through. Um, now before we get started, I guess I should probably run through what I'm actually doing in the game. It sort of occurred to me that like while playing, I haven't really covered any of the stuff you actually do in the game. So yeah, obviously saw the cutscene at the start. The uh, whole point is that Banjo's sister Tootie has been kidnapped by Grunty, basically in a plan to steal her youth. Um, now the sort of overall objective of the game is obviously to rescue Tootie. Um, the way you go about doing this though is by going into different worlds by the means of pictures. And when in these worlds you uh, basically gather these things called jiggies, which are basically magic puzzle pieces. You use those puzzle pieces to complete the incomplete pictures in order to um, you know, unlock new worlds, get more jiggies, blah blah, blah progress. Um, your progress is basically stopped by these note doors. So, essentially you have to like use those magical notes that you find in the worlds to open them, um, which basically stops you, say, just, you know, gathering enough jiggies to unlock all the worlds, but not necessarily exploring those worlds. Anyway, so this one's just a 50 note door. Um, should be fine, like, I think I got 50 in the last world anyway. Uh, yeah, sorry about the audio stuff-ups, by the way. Hopefully we won't get any more of that. Alright, so off we go. Uh, we're heading towards, I believe, Treasure Trove Cove. Ah, but first... So that's the picture there. Ah, now this is, uh, Grunty's sister. Brentilda. She's going to help me, yay! Alright, so you tell me secrets, huh? Tuna ice cream flavored toothpaste. Rancid milk. Hmm. Okay, now. I can't remember for the life of me exactly what that's all about, but I'm fairly sure it has something to do with um, to the end of the game. That, that may become relevant again, I don't know, maybe. Okay, so we've unlocked the picture of a treasure trove code there, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's open the treasure chest there. That's pretty awesome. Alright, let's go. Um, Treasure Trove Clover, as you can probably tell by the picture, is a like a pirate beach theme, I guess. That's pretty cool. It's always a decent theme for a video game level. Nothing wrong with that. Alright, now uh, let's look at those. I'm pretty sure it's downstairs. Downstairs seem like the... Ah, now this is the pot. Hmm. I'm acting a magic cauldron. Find two the same colour to create a shortcut. Oh well, that's helpful, it's like a castle teleport system. That's pretty cool. I'm glad I activated him later instead of finding the other one later on and not knowing what was going on. Alright, let's see if I can find this little level, hey? Uh, maybe it's upstairs. Upstairs looks like a good place to try. So that's a 180 note door. Um, yeah, not nearly enough to go through that one quite yet. Let's see if we can go through here. Ah, here we go. I hear pirate sea shanties. It's probably a good uh, indication we're going the right way. Um, before we go to the well, let's explore up here a little bit. Oh god. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, I can see just up there's red feathers, which I can't use it anyway, so we won't worry about it now. So, Treasure Trove Cove, here we go. Eh, eventually. Eh, oh, oh, and the hole. Alright, cool. Sweet. Okay, now, um, I suppose we better get over this. Um, most people who'll know anything about Treasure Trove Cove will know about one of the worst features of Treasure Trove Cove, which is the incredibly terrifying. Well, I won't spoil it. Oh god, crab. Okay, it's not the crab, but the crab is also bad. 
Okay, so let's start with this ginger. Oh yeah, it's just a ginger with water. Should be fine. Is that a is that a Oh god damn no no giant shark Oh for the love of god Okay so yeah essentially this shark bad very bad very very bad Oh Hmm yeah he not to mention the the horrible jaws music that plays whenever he's around. He is basically the only thing I really do not like about this level. Especially because he like follows you out of the water. It's terrifying. Uh, you can actually harass him with eggs though, which is pretty cool. I'm just trying to do that now. Eat it, eat it, shark. But yeah, um, for that reason, I'll basically be avoiding the water at all costs. Probably doesn't really surprise you. But that guy, yeah. Again, this is one of those things where when I was six, that was pretty much the worst thing I could imagine. Just touch water, giant shark. Excellent. Okay, uh, giant hermit crab. There's another good one. Um, nipper, hey. So yeah, uh, from memory, eggs and stuff. Yeah, yeah, they do nothing. Um, that is one jiggy from memory that I can't actually do until I uh, go to another level. There's a little bit of backtracking in this game, which is it's sort of like just horrible. Just you should stay away from that in platformers. If any of you are game developers, don't ever do that. Don't ever make maybe for bonus stuff, but definitely not for main game objectives. It's just frustrating, really. Uh, meanwhile, gold. Oh wow. Okay, swimming controls are in this game. They're quite odd. Um, it's sort of like. You've got your your big stroke swim, which obviously you can't control mid stroke, and then you've got your sort of pathetic little kick swim, swim which uh, you control a little bit easier, but obviously is a lot slower. And yeah, that's just one of those things that if I was still using a keyboard, like no, that would have been no. Anyway, ooh, red feathers. Uh, there was actually a molehill there, but I think I'll avoid. Uh, talking the bottles just until I get this jiggy. Although there's a mumbo token there, so I might want to grab that while we're here. Oh yeah, yeah, fatty, take your treasure. Right, okay, so apparently this uh, fat guy is called Blubber, and uh, yeah, treasure. It's all about treasure. We're all about treasure. Oh god, okay. Mm, those things apparently kill you and steal your eggs. That's always good. That's always a good combination of things to have. Uh, let's go see about finding this other thing treasure, hey? Haha! -ha. I'm guessing it's down here. Ooh, along with the mumbo token as well. This is a good place. Must grab. There we go. Oh uh, yeah, so... I'm sure I covered this in the last video, but uh, the gingos, which is the coloured bird that I rescued at the start from the horrible shark place, and also the um, musical notes. The one really annoying thing about the Nintendo 64 version, as opposed to any of the other versions of the game, so Xbox, I guess, um, is that the Nintendo 64 version of the game, if you leave a level and then come back, the gingos and the notes all reappear, but if you collect the same ones again, you don't actually get credit for them again. So essentially, if you want to collect all 100, really the only way to do it and be sure you've done it is to stay in the level until you've collected all 100, which you know, when you're missing two or three, it starts to get real frustrating real quick. Okay, let's grab some life, because I got a bit injured being retarded earlier with the shark. Not that the shark was particularly avoidable, I and mean, like I said, I did have to collect that ginger. Uh, let's see. I might talk to Bottles and learn whatever move he has for me. Should we come on this first? We Oh, good ginger. Well, that worked, I guess. Alright, what do you have for me, Wall? Sweet. So I can fly now, as long as I stand on those red things. Uh, let me go in here and see what's going on there. I don't know why, just 
just slide on, I guess. Oh, cool, I'm like on top of the mountain thing. Alright, let's go exploring, shall we, chaps? Okay, more horrific clam things, so avoiding those. Oh, whoop, oh, whoop, oh, whoop. Oh. Camera nearly betrayed me there. Oh, look, a ginger. Keep him in mind when we come back down the mountain, I guess. Yeah, mountain, we got that. Hup. Oh, a lighthouse. Oh, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. And there's a grunty switch. Uh, grunty switches, I don't remember exactly what they do. I'm pretty sure it's something like every time you hit a grunty switch, a uh, jiggy spawns outside the level. Yeah, so there we go. That'll be where I was trying to jump up to earlier with the, the guy. Alright. Hmm. I'm actually coming up with a limit again. Uh, can I get into the lighthouse? No, maybe that was just it. Okay, uh, I'll tell you what, YouTube. I will grab this Jinjo real quick. Ah ha ha, so I don't take full damage like a retard. I will grab this Jinjo really quickly, and then I guess I'll probably have to call it there. Um, yeah, it's kind of annoying. Good old YouTube limit. Okay, um, yeah, well, see you guys in playthrough 4, I guess. Uh, have a good one.